Next equation does require me to perform this first step of rewriting each term so that they each term shares a common denominator. Now it's not required that that common denominator be the least common denominator, but it's just nice to work with smaller numbers. So I'm going to shoot for using the least common denominator. Not necessary though, just need a common denominator. The common denominator I'm going to use here is going to be 20. So I can rewrite each term in this equation with a denominator of 20. 3x over 20 is already ready to go. I can't just write 1 tenth as 1 20th. I don't get to just magically make the denominator 20. I have to think, what do I multiply both the numerator and the denominator by so that my denominator is 20? What that means is I have to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 2, so 1 tenth is rewritten as 2 20ths x divided by 4 to have a denominator of 20, I have to multiply the top and the bottom by 5. So x over 4 is now 5x over 20. Last term, minus 1 fifth, what do I need to multiply the top and the bottom by to have a denominator of 20? Yep, 4. So multiplying the numerator and the denominator by 4 gives me 4 20ths. Now I am going to clear fractions. Oh, it's so exciting. I'm going to multiply the left-hand side by 20 and the right-hand side by 20. This has the effect of just crossing out that whole denominator. So 3x divided by 20 times 20 is 3x. 2 divided by 20 times 20 is plus 2. 5x divided by 20 times 20 is 5x. And then 4 divided by 20, or negative 4 divided by 20 times 20 is minus 4. Again, this times 20 has to be shown. I can't just mentally cross out the denominators. Now I have a really, really, really nice equation compared to my original one, subtracting 3x from both sides. I have 2 equals 2x minus 4. Adding 4, I am running out of space. I have 6 equals 2x. And then my last inverse operation is to divide both sides of my equation by 2, so I end up with my solution x equals 3.